welcome to the Faces of Open Air. And today I've got Siddharth Ramesh with me. Welcome, Siddharth. Hi, Rachel. So I'd like to ask you, what's your background and your current role? So I'm the founder of Medblocks, and uh, Medblocks is my own company. We've been building a lot in the health IT space. And what do Medblocks do? So we help healthcare innovators build on top of digital health platforms. And especially the new paradigm that we have with health data platforms and separating the application from the data. And there's been, it's not that easy to start building. So we help people uh, with tools, education and products to quickly get them started. Brilliant. So how did you become involved in Open Air? So that's a, you know, it's a longer story, uh, but, uh, you know, I initially wanted to do something in my, in the hospital in which I was practicing at. So I was a junior doctor uh, in India and every day in the morning, they used to ask me to wake up at six o'clock, go and copy down the medication orders from the previous day. So you just, you have a paper sheet, you just copy it down to another sheet. And you need to do this for uh, 60, 80 patients at a time. So it takes you like three hours to just do this. And all you do is just copy all of the orders. And then a senior doctor will come on rounds and they will um, correct all of these orders. They upgraded to an e-prescription system. Uh, the hospital upgraded to an e-prescription system. And I thought like, okay, that's it. I don't have to do this anymore. But surprisingly, uh, the system actually made it worse. It did not have a copy all functionality and it was just, you know, you have to go and then you have to do this same thing again, but digitally. And it was slower than actually looking at another piece of paper and writing. Um, I knew how to code even back then. And, you know, I was uh, interested in programming and knew the exact solution to the problem, but there was no way for me to actually solve it. Right. So, um, and after that, I started searching for different solutions. How do you, and I just learned that the whole system with a single vendor is anti-innovation. You do not, they do not let you do anything on top of it, even if you know exactly what to do, uh, because the stakeholders don't really care. Uh, and then I started researching about uh, all of the health data standards. How can you act on data without, you know, relying on a specific vendor? Uh, learned about Fire, learned about Smart on Fire. Then I actually met uh, Berger in uh, Germany. So I was on a a trip to Germany, I was there for a conference and the medical informatics initiative in Germany, they were doing a lot of cool stuff. And as part of that, as part of the HiMed initiative, they were working on open air. Yeah. So that's where I first heard of open air. And then I went back, I looked at it, I looked at the open source version of, uh, of the open air server Airbase that uh, the Vita group and the HiMed team has been working on. That's, that what, that's what got me started. And then that gave me the spark that, okay, there is a whole group of people separating the applications from the data and working with this in this particular way. Wow, what a story <laughs> by Germany. That's fantastic. We'll look into the future. What do you think the future of open air looks like? I think open air today is a lesser known standard as compared to the other um, already, you know, like for example, something like fire. Um, but I think the whole industry is moving in the direction of health data platforms mm -hmm. uh, in which you want to separate out the apps from the data. And it makes sense, right? If you want your data to outlast your application, uh, applications die every 10 years, that's the lifespan and you then have to renew. Uh, if you want your data to last beyond your applications, your only solution is to separate it out and put it in a separate place. Mm -hmm. And I think health data platforms will become the de facto um, way to develop applications. And open air is probably the strongest contender for structured clinical records. And uh, I'm excited to see where this goes, especially with the open air community being, uh, it's, it's getting stronger and stronger and we are pushing more standards and we are pushing more uh, specifications to actually get the app ecosystem going. I see a future where open air becomes the de facto clinical uh, standard, data standard. Wonderful. And how do you see HL7 Fire and SNOMED and other standards working with open air in the future? 
So Snowmed and Fire. So Fire is, you know, still a lot of people use Fire for demographics. Mm -hmm. And in fact, what we have done as well, and a lot of other people, uh, Better, Beta Group, and all of them are doing the same thing. And we are informally calling it the Medblock stack, which is you use Fire for demographics and you use OpenAir for clinical data. And regardless of which standard you use for organizing the data, SNOMED CT and Law Inc and all of these terminologies will need to be populated as answers to certain fields. Mm -hmm. So uh, FIRE for demographics, uh, open air for the actual clinical data. And you can also, you know, maybe use FIRE as the messaging standard or the API paradigm standard where you can send data to other people not using open air. And that's how I see it being used more and more, especially since fire has profiles and it changes from country to country. So people are having fire as the interface or the gateway entry into the system. We are also using it as the way to do demographics and store patient practitioner encounter information, which are not right now as mature in open air and open air primarily for clinical data. And SNOMED CT, Law Inc, and all of these terminologies are just working with open air to answer certain fields, like what is the diagnosis, what is the procedure that was done, and so on. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us as one of the faces of open air. Thank you, Siddha. Thank you.